with Kay Holt, the President and CEO of Associated General Contractors. Kay, would you mind just sharing with me a little bit about what you've uh, what you've been interested in here at the Expo, what you've learned about, something that interested you? Well, I think the integration of different education projects with the entire community is a great thing. And virtually every organization within Waco is endeavoring to educate the community about what they do. I'm Cecily Miller, and we're here at the Community Visioning Celebration and Expo here in Waco, Texas at the Waco Convention Center. And I'm here with Sarah Shoup from the Farmer's Market. She has a little display here. She's going to kind of tell us about more about the Farmer's Market. The Farmer's Market started last November, and we basically began because we saw um, a need and a desire to have an atmosphere where farmers could come together and sell their produce to the local community. All of our farmers come from within 150 miles, so everything is local and that's something that we strive for. And uh, this season we have squash, zucchini, carrots, beets. We also have locally raised meat products and we also are coming into season with a lot of the awesome fruit that Central Texas has to offer like peaches and blackberries. I actually had a chance to visit the farmers market and I, I think it's a great addition to Waco. Tell me how you got involved with the farmers market. I got involved because I found a, a a board was being formed and I had been involved with some farmers markets um, throughout grad school and I really wanted to be a part of this to see something come together that was more than just a outdoor open air market but something that really supported the local economy. Okay great and tell me how did you hear about this event? I was contacted by Angel. Okay, Angel from the Community Visioning Expo? Oh, okay thank you. I moved here in 74 and stayed because I love the location couple hours from Dallas, a couple hours from Austin, couple of, three hours from Houston and San Antonio, but I can come back here and live. I can go there to visit, but I can live here. We're a great place, uh, growing immensely, and we have a growing workforce, a growing educational field, and it's a perfect place to bring a business or move a business. Here with John Alexander, the executive director of Waco Habitat for Humanity. John, thanks for coming out. What is your favorite thing about the community visioning project? What are you excited about? Well, it's exciting to see new projects that are happening in Waco. Um, uh, I've seen some things uh, happening that I was around when it was just an idea, and now to see that idea take fruition is pretty exciting to see the way we're advancing in our community. I always have to start with Baylor because that's where I went to school, and that's why I'm here, and that's why I met my husband, and I think we're Working for Baylor at a place that has such an awesome mission to equip worldwide servant leaders around the world, um, it's, a, it's a really special experience. And then going out from Baylor, when you really get to know the Waco community, it's the people here are loving, exciting people to be around. There are lots of young professionals in this town because of Baylor, and so there's some neat connections you can make because of that. And overall, it's just a great community. The students are the best you're going to find. They are so aware of um, the needs in the community around us, and they are engaging that every single day, and so it's a really inspiring place to work, and that's one of the main reasons I love Waco. We're starting some new work in the Carver neighborhood in East Waco, uh, Neighborhood Revitalization Initiative, and we're getting into uh, rehabilitating homes, home repair, and also some kind of neighborhood visioning process with the residents of the Carver neighborhood uh, to, to vision how uh, that community can get to the point that where they want to see it uh, be in a few years. Well, I think that's great as we as a visioning project look at the community as a whole, trying to revitalize certain areas, and uh, so we appreciate everything that you do. Switching gears a little bit, tell us a little bit about what you see as Waco's distinct advantage, the thing that we can really own in on uh, over the next couple of years? Well, I, I think a couple of things. One, I, I like the size of Waco. I think it's a great uh, size town to live in, not too big and not too small. Uh, of course, the river is a great asset and uh, the downtown revitalization. Uh, we chose to focus our revitalization work around downtown so that we can cooperate with other uh, agencies and the city and other citizens that are trying to um, uh, revitalize and bring more people to our downtown. Downtown. I live downtown and it's a great place to live. Well, thanks so much for your time and thanks for all you do in the community. Thanks.